Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Val and today I'm going to do an amazing Kate Blanchett as Hela in Thor. I mean, there were a lot of makeups regarding that, but I want to combine a bit of body paint. So this is the cosplay makeup and a bit of the body paint of the actual outfit that she's wearing. Just in case, if you're interested, please keep on watching. I know that my face doesn't match my body, but that's what I'm going to work with. And um, first things that I want to do is to mix the purple base. And I'm going to use the Ultimate palette and this dark purple. And I'm just going to mix it with the basic uh, eyeshadow base. And you can see I've done that with my previous video. So you can take a look at that as well if you want. But yeah, I'm just taking a bit of eyeshadow base like so. And scraping some eyeshadow into that. Very easy. Despite the fact that you're taking very dark eyeshadow, you're going to get very light base because it has a pigment, right? It should be a bit lighter. So let me zoom you in a bit and I will show you the eye makeup process for Hela. This is the maximal close-up I can do, so yeah, let's start our eyes. <laughs> Just going to dab a bit here. And on the... I'm doing everything on the intuitive level, so you don't have to follow me exactly in any case. So. Now I'm taking any fluffy brush. Usually any means some I don't like that much. And I'm going directly into the purple. And she has a weird shape. Like so. And don't um this area near the brow, just leave it. Leave it as much as you can. So purplish color with some red is the base. Then I'm switching over to brownish. Technically almost the same color. Technically the same color as in previous makeup for Tiffany. Um, yeah, and then we will go into black. So to build up, um, purple is done. Now I'm taking any other fluffy brush and digging into the dark brown. Dark brown with a bit of purple undertone, that's gonna be very good for us. Because it lays nicely here. Getting darker and darker. Now I'm going over to the darker brown. Whatever left on your brush, you can um, go over the edges just to help it blend. And from here, we can go to brows, and brows are just black. Just fill up your brows as black from the inner part up to the point where you meet the eyeshadow. And I will be back in the normal uh, positioning of camera soon. I chose very subtle lashes and um, added some brows and I also used the eyeliner pencil all over the water lines so yeah that's that's the result. Now let's get into the contouring and I'm taking the same color as I usually do and I'm starting bringing it into the skin. So I'm just getting back to my eyeshadow brush. It's a smaller one and it doesn't really matter that it has a black on it. I need to draw the... The actress has very specific face lines, so I just want to mimic it a bit, at least. So they will be there. Let's try that. And just blend them with a bigger brush. Uh, nose is one of the things that I don't really like to do, but... She has a thinner bridge, and then we're going to... Almost the same nose as mine. I guess. Yeah. And of course, 
we cannot forget the forehead. The, for the mouth, um, she has quite a wide mouth, so I'm just taking uh, this color of lip liner and I will try to elongate mine. And I also try to eliminate, almost eliminate, the cupid bow that I have. The only problem I personally have is my uh, lips are not symmetrical and one side is higher than the other, so I have to work with that somehow. A bit closer. I think I have a lipstick somewhere that can match this color. It's not matte, but it's a good one, so I will use that one moment. As this is your new mouth corner now, you need to have some shadow in there. So I'm using just the same um, shade that I used for this and I'm going over the very edge lightly. And to set it all, I'm just taking a basic powder. Okay, now the fun part, the costume. So her costume actually has very interesting details around the shoulders, so I'm going to try and just sketch out uh, the areas. Uh, first things that I'm going to do is to take the green body paint and fill out the green and then all the black areas and then I add the white stripes, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, just I will speed up the process so you can keep watching normally. The only problem I personally have is that I don't have a metallic green body paint or any metallic body paint to be honest, so I'm just taking a regular green and I'm mapping out the lines in the costume. And now over this green I will try to go with gold because it's a bit metallic and maybe this will do the trick, maybe not, I'm not sure right now, so yeah. Other things are basically black, so I will try to fill out the black areas too. After a few tests I actually found a solution for the metallic green. I'm just taking this pistachio shade, you cannot really see it, but you can see the highlight kinda, so it's greenish color, it's just the highlighting color from the essence, uh, yeah. That's amazing. So I'm just going to take it on a brush and go over everything with it. Just like so. And that gives quite a good green metallic outcome. That's amazing. And now the latest, one of the latest parts is to add the black. Nothing fancy, just a black paint, some spray, some brush, a lot of water. Now let's do the shading, um, all the same stuff, I need to shade here, here and uh, then I will take an angled brush and white paint and I will just try to mimic the texture that she has on her costume. That's pretty much it. Um, you got the idea, I will come back when I will finish this ridiculous thing. So this is the result on the costume, I know it's not the best, but it's not bad either. And she has blue eyes, so I'm not going to wear any lenses today. And only wig is left, so let me put on the wig and let's see what the final result is. Yeah, I don't finish the costume completely, but this is the final look. Her wig is more messy than mine. Uh, but who cares? This one is also messy, but not so much. Doesn't doesn't matter. So, um, what do you think? 
Can you say that I do look like Hela or not? Yeah, my own hair. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate that. That's very nice to know that people actually like some of my content. Um, give this video a like, subscribe, join the community, which I wish will be here on the channel. And um, yeah, thank you, bye.